I managed to get nine hours sleep. Woke up half past five this morning, but that's okay. Um, nice and dry here this morning, as you would have seen. It absolutely pelted it down for quite a while, actually. But it's all dried up now, so sun's shining and it's beautiful. Drawing back the curtains and just seeing monkeys walking across the wires and across the roof first thing in the morning. I'm going to really appreciate that for the rest of my stay here. Three more nights left here and then we'll be heading for the coast. I'll be on the coast for my birthday, which I'm looking forward to. But right now, we're just going to mooch around here today, have a swim, have a swim already. Just a bit of a pool day, a bit of a relaxing one, but just see what's out and about and get some footage for you. Our little entrance. I came out of there this morning to get some water because you can just refill your bottles at reception with water each day. And when I got back in there, I was trying to lock the door and it looked different from what it did before, but that's because when I turned around, I realised I was in somebody else's place. I was in eternity, instead of Lotus. Where Julia stayed last time in Dream. There's Heart, there's Wanda, there's Life, all lovely little names. This is the main port we can use if we want. And there's their offering. Just a little bit of bamboo here. And it takes about six months to get to this site. Again here for our breakfast. And Julia thinks this is volcanic rock here. There is at least two active volcanoes on this island. And we caught it on amber because of fear of eruption. I have to get footage of the bike, you know what I'm like. Lovely. It was very noisy here last night though. My room is just kind of next door. They had an open mic here. Um, too tired to come to it, but yeah. it's very nice. We're about to have breakfast. And this is just opposite. The monkeys. Oh, <laughs> quick. <laughs> Pesky monkeys have been at the offerings here. But I try not to squash the flowers. So much choice i think i'm gonna have a jungle tea today without the honey a hot monkey tomorrow without the honey and a dragon's kiss at another time extra careful when i come down them steps it's amazing This is actually the monkey sanctuary over there. Yep. But here we have the big male coming for the offerings. First picking. This will get rid of my headache with ginger, a cinnamon stick and some mint and hot water. Oh, good anti-inflammatory. I'm just very tired. We're just sitting here watching all the scooters. Look at this tiny little alleyway. I'd love to know what happens when they come up. I'm watching what they wear and don't wear mostly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How would you get past her? Oh. 
so our food's now come, but they've just suggested that we move in a bit. Because otherwise the monkey might come to the table busy with the food. Chickpea salad looks good. I'm just remembering my Aunt Marion told me not to have the salad because of the water, but it's the only thing I can have. And I'm gonna tuck in. So we just started eating. I realised how hungry I was, so I've had to order us some chips. And Julia's just reminded me that we haven't eaten for 48 yeah, it's hours. hours. It's got a proper meal. Is that good? How funny would that be, look? I could cause chaos. <laughs> I'd probably burn the place down. It looks and smells divine, though. All the incense sticks. It's wonderful. Well, I've just stuffed my face, but I'm going to have to come back here for some Thai Tom Kong Gung and whatever else I fancy. So we've got 70 k so that's 70,000, so that's $7 to so £3.50. Coconut that they're burning. Yep. It's rice, that's what the monkeys are after. I'd quite like to come back here for some food sometime. The shop is beautiful. These masks are uh, hand carved and hand painted. I haven't got room in my suitcase for that. This video is just for Gabs, a monkey and an elephant. This is the back of the monkey forest, but as you can see, you don't really need to go in there to see monkeys. stick or two. So trusting look. Now let's see, we've got to go to the house around the back. But beautiful stuff in here. I did like these trousers, but I have got a pair similar at home. And then I wondered, are they actually for sale or are they just drying their washing? So it'd be a bit embarrassing if I picked them up and took them out the back. And they went, no, that's my washing. <laughs> Which house do we go to? This one next door, I take it. Is it here? I don't know. There's a few houses here. I'll try this one. This is really cheap. So I'm working out this right, like 60 minute massage. That's $9, that's £4.50. That's crazy. What I find fascinating is that this is actually the gate to someone's house. It's not like a shrine or a temple. It's just literally a house and they've even got other statues through there and that's their garage with their car julia there's our coffee place old friends oh, how many years oh, um, 48. 48. <laughs> and here we are <laughs> did we ever think when we were at school that one day we'd be in bali or that you'd even be in australia living out there no. and i come and see you and then we come on holidays to bali no. See, we never know what's around the corner, but life can be great. Julia's eagle eyes spotted a museum. They do food as well, so it might just be a few artifacts to get you in for food, but we're going to have a little look. Oh, I know someone called Newman. Hi, Newman, over in Malaysia. I met him in Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur. Mm. The museum is actually shut at the moment, so it is beautiful. I like Bali, it's quite beautiful actually. Just like Julia. Hey, let's go bananas! How do they stand there with the monkeys just up the road? 
stopped at Old Friends for a coffee. They do coconut milk and oat milk alternatives, so I'm really happy. It smells delicious. I didn't even ask for decaf. I need a bit of caffeine, I think. Hopefully it won't keep me awake later, but we shall see. The guy seems really lovely. I realised I was in there though, I was shouting at him, and I forgot to put my hearing aids on in. But I don't know if it's that or whether they speak really good English out here, but I'm sure you all do this too, because I've seen it so many times, that when you're in a foreign country and you're not sure if they speak English, you shout, as if that would make them understand you even more. You do do it, don't you? It's not just me, surely. Anyway, on the way down here, we found a really nice guy as well. He's setting up his own business, doing like taxi running, running out to trips. And for $50, he can take us to three tourist attractions, uh, attractions even, a rice field, a coffee field, and a healing temple. You can actually go to the temple all day, but um, we might just do the three in one go. See how we feel tomorrow. We've got a WhatsApp from tonight if we want to go tomorrow or if we want to go the next day. So we'll see how today goes and we'll take it from there. But we're definitely going to go. He's happy for me to vlog as well. So hopefully we get got loads of history and loads of interesting stuff from him. We've gone for iced because it is pretty hot here today, isn't it? It's so, very cool. Yeah. yeah, so chin chin. Yeah. We'll try. We'll see. It's still hot. It's still hot. Well, it's not hot, it's warm, isn't it? Yeah. I think they kind of make the coffee and just put an ice cube in it. We might just have to wait for it to melt a bit. <laughs> Mm. Coffee, doesn't matter. It was lovely and I'd just like to say thank you to another old friend, Kim. Sausage Kim, thank you for buying me some coffees. They're lovely, that one was particularly nice. And if you want to know why we call her Sausage Kim, because many people didn't know for years, it's just literally because she used to call Jack Sausage. So she's known as Sausage Kim. But she does like sausages as well, especially chipolatas at birthday parties and jelly. We always had to have some of those. Thank you, darling. Look forward to seeing you when I get home. Julia's just said, she's not an old friend. She's someone you've known for a like, very long time. But actually it's quite poignant because every birthday I get a card from Kim saying something along the lines of, na 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 na, you're older than I am because for six whole months I am. I just love and that. Me, oh, and you too, <laughs> yeah. Oh. See, never mind. It's my birthday in a few days. It it's my birthday. I'm going to go for a walk on the beach at Legian. Yay! A lovely lady in there and just got some nice souvenirs. Look, this is their fuel, their fuel pump. Just saying, Black, that since Covid, the tourism has really gone down here and it's empty. And she literally just looks outside our shop each day to see her neighbour and they kind of shrug. So hopefully, hopefully, tourism will pick up again because it really is lovely here. It's a bit noisy with all the scooters. I love the building, look, bamboo building behind me. Now back at our resort and being greeted by this little fella. Now we're going to go and get in our own little hole. Not this one, this one is empty so we could actually perhaps venture into here. In the rain, just swimming in the rain. Oh, the <laughs> unnerving when you're swimming in the pool and you suddenly realise you haven't got your twanger but luckily Julia's just come out so I have a bodyguard Julia bought some mosquito patches for me. 
And it's a really good job that for once I read the instructions because you have to put them on your clothes or somewhere nearby. Not on your body, which I was about to whack it on. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> We've come back to Lakaleki for our dinner because we just love the look of the place. I'll be quiet for once and just show you around. one of them but I don't think if you're even able to get up again they have got smaller ones I wouldn't take up the whole room oh I'm talking again aren't I I love that at the front of the menu, they've got a little bit of history about this place. They've got rice paddies down, rice fields out the back, and it's in between the monkey forest, which we know, and the unique wood carving village. So that may be somewhere we want to go tomorrow. And lots of vegetarian stuff too, so hopefully gluten and dairy free. I'm fancying this one because it's got lots of different Balinese specialities earlier about their dance performances look but it's Monday Wednesday and Thursday and we got here on Thursday but we were too tired and we'll be going Monday morning so we're gonna miss all of that but they also do some classes here as well different workshops like painting glass I could have done with that before I painted my um, <laughs> stained glass kitchen window it looks a right mess <laughs> Oh, egg painting. Mm. Oh, that looks fun. Julia, do you want to go and learn to play traditional musical instruments? Beating. Menabu. And we can do some dancing. Menari. Uh, make Balinese kanang sari Ooh, from young coconut good. leaf. Ooh. That sounds good. Wood carving, you'd like that. I would. I would. And, and, <laughs> and making wicker. Oh, oh, when, where? I don't know, we, we have to <laughs> ask, this, oh, this program includes tea time, coffee or tea, Balinese cake, oh. So unfortunately, they can't make what I wanted gluten and dairy free. Although they may well have done, there was a bit of a language issue there. I had to explain them that I could have coconut milk, just not moo moo milk. Moo! <laughs> Even doing the other signs. Um, or the other signs. I stopped doing them. Uh, and then the flour, obviously I was trying to explain I can have rice flour, but not other flour. So anyway, they, they are going to make me a Thai green curry vegetable. That should be safe. So that's I'm happy with that and we've got something rather lovely to drink as well. One of my favourite drinks when I'm abroad places like this is literally a fresh coconut off the tree, hole in the top and a straw in it. Probably need bamboo here, but maybe not, we shall see. And then this is the rice field.
where they teach the dancing and the music. I'm quite excited about that. I'm thinking we might come and do that on Monday. Um, pack up our cases, come down to a couple of classes. I fancy music and dancing. Julia would like the woodwork and wicker and we both fancy sort of the making the saris out of the, the coconut leaves but we can't get it home. She certainly can't take those products into Australia and um, I've still got lots of travelling to do so I can't really. Oh nearly fell in that would have been funny wouldn't it. <laughs> yeah so I can't really. I would I'd like buy another case just to buy stuff. In fact next time I think I come away I'll just come with an empty case um, or perhaps a case of just one change of clothes and then just buy lots of stuff that I really don't need so maybe not. Okay so I realise it's probably not the same one but I did just tell him I was coming to dinner and where I was coming and there's just one solitary one here. Coconut. <laughs> Well, that's disappointing, Julia. I was expecting a bamboo straw. No, no. Look, I can stick with your nose with this. Look, fell still. Another <laughs> great thing about the coconut drink is you get loads of slimy coconut dessert as well. And it's yummy. Okay, so it's a toilet, but it's not. But it is, but not like one you've ever seen before. But as Julia says, the problem here is not that you can't go, but that you can't stop. I had a lovely meal, really enjoyed it. Um, I've just been for a swim, I was really hot, so I've crawled down. I'm taking me a patch everywhere with me, like, <laughs> get the mozzies away. I've just spoken to Patu, and he's going to come and pick us up at half past nine tomorrow to go out on our adventures. As I was swimming, Julia said to me, um, Have you ever thought about going to Mongolia? And I went, Well, not really, but I wouldn't rule it out. And then we started talking about this group called The Who, spelled H-U. And I'm really into them. They're fantastic. Hadn't heard of them before. If you haven't, I'll tag a little link in for them. So that's just about enough for me, apart from to say, if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe. Press the little bell at the top so you get reminded and notified whenever we upload something. Um, share if you like it. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee, then you can do that also. The link's somewhere around on my profile bio, 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 I'm getting tired, right up. And I'll see you tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.